Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask that we can get our hands on. Today we are looking at the very advertised Vita mask, specifically their kids can 95. Uh, let's open this thing up and then we will talk about the mask. So it comes in this really, I really like this packaging made in the USA, it says. And they've got this really weird sustainability program that we'll talk about in a second. But let's open this up and get this going. So they come sealed in two packs of five. And it's definitely not a can 95 at all whatsoever in any way. <laughs> it doesn't even say, wow, that's, that's a new level there, guys. We'll talk about that. If you're just seeing, if this is the only review of ours that you've seen, you're probably confused. Um, but that is very interesting. It's also just not the mask that's being pictured, to be honest. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. Not just a guy doing random tests here, no, no. We have a $250,000 mask lab that I am bringing to bear for you, the consumer. Let you know what I think of this mask. Now, we're doing the N95 test here, which turns out is exactly like the KN95. Let's take a look at the listing before we talk about the whole CAN95 situation. Great website, by the way. Kid tested and doctor approved. I'd love to talk to those doctors. Our USA made FDA registered kids masks. It's not a thing. The FDA does not register uh, masks, especially kids masks. Uh, if anything, you can get a kids mask cleared, but that's not what's happening here. Soft ear bands, metal nose. Uh, our kids mask offers 95 to 99% efficiency. Whoa, that's crazy. Let's see what else. Okay, so FDA registered facility. FDA registered, not FDA. <laughs> so it says, it says it's an FDA registered mask. And then it says, when you look at the notes, FDA registered, uh, not FDA or NIOSH approved and not for medical or industrial use. But when you read FDA registered, especially when you're in Yahoo News selling perfect for school, this FDA registered KN95 mask is specifically made for kids. Does that make you think maybe, like as a parent or a consumer, does that make you think that maybe it's a medical device? Look at this, not FDA or NIOSH approved, not for medical or industrial use. Designed for consumer use only. Not, do not use for protection in a surgical or clinical setting does not provide liquid protection barrier. Wow, okay. All right, let's take a look at the actual thing itself. Made in the USA. All right, so I said right away that this is not a KN95. What did I mean by that? Well, you can actually see on the listing itself uh, what this mask is gonna look like. It's gonna show up and look like that. It doesn't have any writing on it. A KN95, needs three things. You need to say KN95. You need to say uh, the executive standard, which is a Chinese standard. So you need to say uh, which the, the most latest one is uh, GB2626-2019. And you got to have the manufacturer name. Here's an example of what a real KN95 looks like. It's from a company called BNX. You can buy this on Amazon. Um, they've got GB2626-2019, KN95. They've also went above and beyond, which the standard allows for to say the model number, which I think their model number is E95, and their lot number. It's crazy, they're putting that on every mask. Commend them for that. Um, they're not doing any of that here, which means right off the bat, this is not a KN95. Why does it matter? Well, to be a KN95, you have to go through a ton of tests. There's about seven tests. We have a $250,000 lab here, and I can't even do all of the tests in this lab. For our KN95, I had to outsource some of those tests to another operation, because I didn't have all the things here. You gotta do a blood splatter test, you gotta do breathability with that machine, and you gotta test it on a particulate filtration efficiency machine, which I have here. Let's take a look at, so we know they're not really, that's, yeah. Yeah. it's not great, but it's not bad. We just tried the mask C, and literally the, the ear loops would just pop right off when we were trying to put it on. That was crazy. Oh. Uh, I don't think that this is a barrier bag. So the only smell that I'm getting here is, uh, is a very, very, very present cardboard smell. I think that's coming from the packaging here. So uh, that's not terrible. Um, 
But the thing that's bad about that is if the smell's getting through this bag, what else is getting through in the shipping process? This is not a barrier bag. So this is not keeping, in fact, these types of bags typically have like little holes in them to let the air out. And so this is not an ideal bag to be uh, just putting that goes right in the mail. The other thing I wonder about this design that I've seen before, yeah, see, that's not very good. It's very common of this design that that just kind of comes off. And then thinking as a kid, they like might, well, this is actually, this is a kid's mask, are you sure? This is huge, this fit me just fine. Oh, okay. I think this is the adult one, this fits me fine. Yeah, but yeah, that's not very good, the fact that it can just come off like that. That is very common with this style before. I've, I've seen this one, it just kind of rips right apart. Obviously, you don't want that to happen. Um, all right, but does any of that stuff, that subjective stuff that we're talking about, does that matter? We're here for the objective test, what this machine can do. And remember the 95 in KN95 stands for 95%. Let's look at it. 97.407, 97.407. Ah, they, they told you the truth on something. On their website, uh, they said it would be between 95 and 99%, and it was. There you go. So they did meet that. The fabric is really good in this mask. What was the breathability? Breathability was a little high. Breathability was 205 pascals. We like to see it under 150. Personally, for me, if I'm gonna wear a mask for eight hours a day, I wanna see it under uh, 150 pascals. So breathability is a little high, but the fabric on the efficiency is really good. That's, that's really good. I just don't like the way that they're marketing. I don't like what they're telling you uh, in, in, the, uh, in the media about this mask. Um, it just doesn't make me feel good as a, as a mask manufacturer, as a consumer, as a parent. I don't like those things. But at the end of the day, unlike some other brands we've tested, at least the filtration efficiency in this is pretty good. All right, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, we are doing new videos every single day at 10 a.m. because we crazy in here. So stick with me and I will see you on that next test.